So now that we're more familiar with the interface, let's talk about some of the other powerful features you will want to know about as you start using Fusion 360 more. Before doing anything, I'll save the model and I want you to note what happens. The version denoted now as V1 will change to V2. This seemingly minor adjustment actually carries a great deal of power behind it. This is part of a completely effortless data management, which will allow you to access and recall past save states of parts. Let's see how to do that. To do so, I'll open the data panel and hit the information button associated with this model. When I do, additional information about this design becomes available. As I'm interested in version history, I'll select to show it and immediately I get feedback regarding past saves of this model. Had I made unwanted changes to this design, I could either promote the past iteration, which will create a new version at the previous state, or open it to see the progress at that state. This is like taking design history to the next level. While here, let's open the design in the web, which will show us a great number of details about it and enables us to share the model easily with things like share links, a major benefit of the cloud nature of these designs. Here I can also see another representation of the version history, view the model, comment on the model, and if I was using this web version to find a specific file, I could open it in Fusion by clicking the button here. Seeing that it's already open, I'll switch back to Fusion, and I can see the comments that were added. And now I have my task, rebuilding this model using the tools in Fusion 360. From the file menu, I'll start a new design, which will open up in a new tab, and shows me the default interface once again. Should I need to switch back to the model to measure, for instance, I can select the appropriate tab. Now I'll take a number of measurements so I can rebuild this at the correct scale. I'll hit the I key on my keyboard to access the measure tool. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll start modeling this up.